Hey Leos, it is the Sun Sage back to do another July reading for you guys. This will be for towards the end of July before we get into those June energies. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking the videos, for subscribing to the channel, um, for comments. Thank you so much for your support, all right? So this will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you connecting to Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising as a cross watcher. So I have my Rebel deck out, and this is a deck where there's like blunt messages. So we're going to see what comes out, what message Leo needs to hear towards as we're in the end of July. Okay, a couple of things wanted to come out, but I want one clear message for Leos, what they need to hear right now. That project, that person, that idea is waiting get after that shit. The world has your back. So this is an amazing message, especially in your birthday season. Happy birthday, by the way. Um, you guys are being supported currently by the universe. There is someone here waiting for you. Okay. There is a project you have had or something you've had your eye on that you've been wanting to invest in, or you've been wanting to, um, sort of make a move on or get a new start on that has your name written all over it, Leo's. So this is like the world has your back. Do it. All right. Also that person they're waiting. Okay. So someone is waiting for you. Okay, Leo. So let's see what's going on in your situation. All right. Let's see what's going on in your situation. Let's see if we can find out who's waiting for Leo's. All right. So we have the three of pentacles. All right. For who's waiting for Leo's. Um, we have a king of cups here. What else do we have for Leo's? Five of wands. Um, okay. Hangman. Want it to come out in reverse. I'm not doing reversals, but I will sort of get into the reverse aspect of that. If I remember, sometimes I don't even remember, you know, that it came out in reverse, but we'll see. And the Knight of Cups. All right, Leo. So you guys may also want to check out the community board where I did um, a general channeling. That may be for some of you guys, that message that came through, because um, some of the same cards are showing up. <laughs> All right. So, um... Yeah, there's someone definitely waiting for you. I feel like there's someone definitely willing to fight for you. Someone definitely feeling like they want to take action towards you. They just don't know what to say and how to go about it. So we'll get into it. So this three of pentacles here, I feel like what's happening with you guys is you are wanting to figure out a way to work things out with a possible king of cups, a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, definitely Scorpio energy showing up here. But even if they're not that sign, this is someone emotionally invested in you. They're already emotionally invested in you. They already care about you. Depending on your level of commitment, they already love you or are in love with you. So um, a lot of you are connecting to an, a soulmate, okay? A lot of you are connecting to a soulmate, but things have been really challenging with this person. It almost feels like you guys have been competing against each other with this five of wands, um, trying to outdo the other, out, outdo the other, uh, outshine the other or something like that. Um, and I, I feel like you guys are at a moment right now with this hangman where it's like, okay, you're surrendering to how things are, but you're not satisfied with how things are. Both of you want to be a bit more expressive towards each other, but particularly your person, Leo's. They really want to share with you how they feel as this King of Cups and this Knight of Cups over here. So let's get into it. Let's clarify these messages. What do we have with this Three of Pentacles for Leo's? What is this Three of Pentacles about? The Emperor, a divine masculine or a divine counterpart or responsibility, okay? So I feel like somebody's coming back wanting to take responsibility for something or somebody, the best way for you guys to move forward is for somebody to take responsibility for their behavior. I have a queen of wands at the bottom of the deck and underneath that I happen to see was the devil. So I do feel like um, there's a strong bond here with this person, but some of the connection is based on you guys' physical attraction and there's a jealousy here. I even see that with the five of wands 
jealous. This person gets jealous easily. Um, and so there's competition sometimes when you make them jealous, maybe even unknowingly, this person may do things to try to make you jealous. And so that's why it feels like, you know, competition. But I do feel like this person needs to accept and own the behavior in order for things to work. You're, you don't want to compromise. Like your person could definitely have control issues. Okay. This person could want to control you. Leo's, this person may feel like when you do things that are, that they're not expecting of you or when you don't go along with what they want you to do, they may try to punish you by, um, by taking their love away or something. This king of, of, of cups can be very emotionally manipulative, right? So they may try to control you and to control your feelings for them by taking themselves away from you in some way, like as a form of punishment because they are addicted to control. What is this emperor, Aries energy? Yeah, and so it feels like a trap. It feels like something you're stuck in. A situation that you can't get yourself out of. And so there is no way to move forward with this person. It feels sometimes except for to end things and sort of let things have this natural sort of ending um, as painful as it can be. Right. So I feel like there was an ending here with you and this person. I feel like that's because you were starting to catch on that anytime they came back around talking about compromise and wanting to work with you and wanting to try new ways of doing things together, it always felt like to you possibly a form of manipulation, a king, I mean, I'm sorry, an emperor or somebody with a dominant personality trying to manipulate you and to keep you trapped and stuck in a situation that you weren't comfortable with. So this person has some, some owning up to do of their behavior. The star, you are open to forgiving this person, Aquarius energy, even after everything they've put you through, even after they had you feeling confused and stuck, I still feel like you're hopeful, okay? I also feel like um, this person is emotionally manipulated. I'm going to get into that King of Cups, but I also, but I, um, sorry, that was my humidifier. But I also feel like this person has been emotionally manipulative because you actually have some form of control over them. A Knight of Cups, again, at the bottom of the deck, you actually have some sort of control over them. They can't control themselves, their feelings um, when they're around you. And as an emperor, they may see that as... I can't have this, right? I can't have Leo being in control of me. I have to stay in control of my feelings, but it just is what it is. They can't control their feelings around you. They can't control the fact that they love you. They can't control the fact that they would do anything for you if they allowed themselves to. So they're fighting, they're resisting their own feelings for you, or they have been resistant to their own feelings for you, which is why it feels like you've had to push back on them somewhat, right? So this star... You know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you guys are still hopeful that this person will get out of this need to control everything in this dynamic with you guys. What is this star here? Because I feel like you do recognize that they genuinely love you, but there is this sort of caution when dealing with this person. You're at a crossroads. You can move on or you can continue to invest. A lot of you haven't made a decision yet with the high priestess. You are trying to follow your intuition, but you could be getting mixed messages even from that. And so it feels like this card here, that project, that person, that idea is waiting, is you sort of having the universe and this person in suspense because you're still at a crossroads. You're still hopeful, but I think a part of you feels like maybe this person doesn't deserve some sort of immediate decision from you right now and so making them wait feels uh, satisfying to you let's get into this king of cups scorpio energy who is this king of cups for leos all right who is this king of cups a king of cups yeah this is confirming how they feel about you and this is why i use two different decks one to clarify and one to lay it out that's why it's better because sometimes i do use the same deck but sometimes it is much better to use two different decks because it's almost like you know what this is. You know what this King of Cups is about. This is confirming how much they love you. For those of you that didn't know, or for those of you that were starting to question their love for you, this person loves you. They are at a point where they feel so vulnerable with their love for you. They almost feel like they would sacrifice things they've never had to sacrifice before, or they feel like they would act out or behave in a way that, that they would never have behaved before with anyone else. 
So you are bringing that out of them. And it's almost like their ego is telling them, oh, you can't have somebody controlling your emotions this way. You got to um, get the reins. You got to get back control of them. And, you know, you can't control a Leo, but this person, they don't, they're used to emotionally manipulating people. They just, they just do what they feel and what they feel is emotionally out of control. And so they try to regain that control by hiding information from you or, or, uh, Picking and choosing what they want to tell you, picking and choosing what they, how they want to treat you, right? When deep down inside, this person is madly in love with you and falling deeper all the time. Um, nine of swords, three of swords. They've only hurt themselves. Yes, they have hurt you. Okay. They have hurt you and they have hurt this connection. The tower, what could have been a strong foundation is now up in flames because of their manipulative controlling behavior. So the nine of swords is them really having to deal with that, guys. Please take a look at the community board and that message. Um, Leo's energy was in there. So I feel like this person is disgusted, disgusted with their treatment of you with this three of swords and the way that this person sometimes could have emotionally controlled or manipulated a situation is by making it seem like they had options or making it seem like there were other people they could be with when they only want you, but they're playing these mind games. Okay. They're definitely playing mind games to try to have control over you, the moon. Okay. Clarifying that this person has sneaky ways that they've done things that have gone against what you were trying to build with them, right? Um, I feel like this person has secrets that they've kept, all right? Um, I feel like this person, for some of you, you will have somebody who like to um, keep a person secret, like keep somebody that they were messing with a secret. This person probably builds their ego, something that you won't willingly do. So they needed to have that sort of ego boost from somebody who didn't mind being controlled, right? So your pushback creates this sort of competition. It's not really a competition, but that's how this person views it. Oh, Leo can move on. Oh, Leo has people that want Leo. Oh, I have people that want me too. You know, it's very immature and silly behavior. But unfortunately, this person does not know how to deal with their uh, emotions, their feelings for you. Judgment day has come. OK, it's time for them to face the truth. And I feel like this also represents it's time for a truth to be faced about this relationship and this connection. This does feel like a soulmate connection here with this judgment. Scorpio energy, three of pentacles showing up again. So we have double three of pentacles as well as double king of cups. They really do need to do better. OK, so this is someone making an effort to sort of contribute to something being built that is positive and something that is going to be lasting instead of just letting it all fall apart and destroying it with that tower energy, right? So this person wants to build something lasting with you, Leos. Um, this hangman, you know, I feel like a lot of you sort of just gave up or they sort of just gave up the situation. And so that's why it feels like someone's waiting, right? You could even be waiting for this person, to see how they're going to move. What is this hangman Pisces energy? Um, this is the four of cups. Also in that reading, um, that channeling, I did say someone was going to profess their love for someone, Leos. So we have the king of cups here showing up twice. Don't be surprised if this person comes back and has some um, eye opening sort of uh, revelations about how they feel about you. But the four of cups, um, you can't help but feel like sort of bored with this person and uninterested because they haven't given you any reason to sort of want to work things through with them, right? Empress, <laughs> you guys are celebrating your birthday or you're about to. So that's where your focus is, taking care of yourself. Um, abundance coming to you effortless, effortlessly. This is proof and confirmation that the universe is supporting you, that you are being seen as this beautiful person by the world, a star, right? And so you have other things that you need to focus on and, and deal with. And I feel like you're a very busy person right now. That three of pentacles can also be busyness. Um, the high priestess showing up. And yes, you are keeping this person waiting <laughs> with the high priestess, okay? You are keeping this person waiting. Let me give someone this three of pentacles. 
Um, two of cups. Okay. So yeah, that that's confirmation that I feel like they really want to work on things with you. Cause I was like, what do they want to work on? Right. What do they want to compromise about? Why are they coming back into Leo's life or wanting to come back into Leo's life? Because you're the person that they truly want to be with. You are their wish fulfillment Leos. They have not acted like it, but I do feel like there's something pushing you guys together, this tension that's being created through this com competitive sort of vibes that you guys have right now. It is sort of going to play itself out, play itself out in this person not being able to deny you any longer, right? You're a mystery right now, but they are going to seek you out, <laughs> okay? They are going to seek you out and make you a love offer with the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy again. Your person could have Pisces in their chart. Five of Cups. This is somebody who goes, first of all, this is somebody who's very emotional when they return or when they come in, all right, with that Five of Cups clarifying this Knight of Cups. There could be an emotional sort of breakdown of this person, some sort of um, I, I messed up. I, I made a mistake. I did things the wrong way. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have said this. Right. But I did it because I don't know how to process my feelings or some sort of communication like that, where it's a mix of how they feel about you. And yeah, 10 of cups, how they feel about you and how they wronged you. All right. So I, I do feel like there'll be a balance there. Like this person is taking ownership of their behavior with the emperor. They're not just going to come back with the blame game. That's the energy that they're in right now. Well, you say you moved on. So I moved on. Or you say you could get other people. So I went on and got other people. That's petty and immature. But they're seeing that that hasn't moved you, Leo's. And like I said, they're going to come seek you out. They're trying to go from this five of cups and this 10 of cups. And they feel like the only way that's going to happen is if they get Leo back. All right. So I am going to get some additional messages to see what else we got coming in for your situation. What do we have going on for Leo's? Fall back. That's what I feel like you guys are doing right now. Falling back. That's why it says that person, that project, that idea is waiting. You needed more information before you make a decision on anything. And that could refer to something financial or this love relationship. But overall, you felt like there was a time to make a decision and it wasn't now or it wasn't recently. And that time to sort of your epiphany is coming and this person's epiphany is definitely coming. Talk it out. OK, they are going to want to get deep into a conversation with you, Leo. So be prepared. This person wants to talk it out. They want to work it out. Those three of pentacles. Pay attention. Everybody listen to each other. Also pay attention to this person's actions, right? I feel like this is a message for you, Leos. Don't just listen to what they say because a person can love you and not know how to love you the correct way. Or a person can have strong feelings for you and not know how to treat you or not care about how to treat you. Right. So this is about pay attention, you know, to actions and not just words, because their words are going to be very sweet, very soothing, very romantic. All right. One more message for Leo's from their person. What's going on? Loving you scares me. What did I say? This person is overwhelmed by the feelings that they have for you, Leo's. They want to be able to express this and they can't. It kind of goes against their nature, whatever their sign is. It feels like it goes against their nature. So that's why I feel like they may be water sign venus or moon or you know something where it's not their sun or rising sign because they don't present like they could be an aries with a pisces moon or something like they love to be like um to act like they aren't moved by love and like they're not whipped but they are <laughs> so this is not someone who is okay with being vulnerable and they're currently working through that and i feel like a lot of you leos acknowledge that and you're like well i'm gonna let you work through that okay and and you're gonna wait Okay, I'm not coming to you. We'll see what you got to say when you come back around, but you got to work through your stuff before you come back over here to me. And I feel like that's exactly what they're doing. All right, Leos, that is what I have for you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.